Oh, well, greetings. I bet you thought I wasn't going to be making a video today. Or maybe I've made a multiple, I don't know. As of this hour, I think that this is probably the only video that I'm going to be making today. But I had this, uh, this new to me, that's probably making terrible noise when I grab onto it, new to me device. Now, when I say new to me, I don't mean like I bought it used or something. I just... Uh, well, I bought it a while ago for some purpose, I can't remember what, something to do with my wife's channel, and never ended up actually using it. It failed for the purpose it was intended for. A lavalier mic. And I was just curious, how does it sound? Oh, I do have this other microphone here, just in case this lavalier mic uh, fails again, because uh, last time it did. Now, I've seen so many... Th anyway, yeah, the, the new new microphone. Got to try it out. Got to try out the new toys. You know, thanks for sticking with us. I, uh, yeah. Really, a lot of this that I put together, these little videos, it's just to try out new things and to see how it works. Uh, one of the things you may have noticed, that the uh, the image looks a little bit different. I have stuck on the 16 millimeter wide angle lens onto the a7 IV here, in addition to having this lavalier mic that I'm working with that hopefully sounds... All right, if it doesn't, then I'll probably switch to the other audio just to see how it goes. Now, I know it's a, a crop sensor lens. It's intended for, oh, where is it at? Now, here it is. My uh, other camera that we've been pulling out many, many times, which uh, still works just fine. It takes beautiful photos if you know what you're doing. Just don't use the uh, the crummy stock, oh, not stock, kit lens that came with it and you'll get beautiful photos. Like if I stuck the 16 millimeter lens on there, it'll take beautiful sharp photos. I've also got a 50 millimeter lens that uh, takes beautiful sharp photos that are usable. I think, to be honest, the, uh, the kit lens was all right until it fell off a dresser at some point. Don't, don't, don't tell my wife that that happened. It's been a while. It still works. Just looks a little muddy, that's all. <laughs> but uh, the other lenses work better anyway. But um, yeah, you know, it goes into crop mode. This is a good opportunity to test this. It's one of those things. If you're switching from an APS-C camera, if you, I mean, if you're sticking within the uh, the Sony lineup of cameras, and you slap on your, you know, APS-C lenses onto your full frame camera, maybe you haven't worked up the full collection of, I guess, lenses that you might use in different situations. Well, you can use your APS-C things and. You can put them on there. It'll go right into its crop mode. It won't be a weird image. It, um, yeah, I, I don't think that it gets as many megapixels. But hey, that's what people. That's all the rage these days, anyway, to get the uh, the lower megapixel count so you can get that that film look. So maybe maybe it helps with the the film look on the A7 IV. I, I don't think that it does. But anyway, it, it's a nice little thing. I know people call it a gimmick, but it's actually pretty helpful if you're thinking of upgrading, you know, then you have that option. You can just slap your old lenses on there as a stopgap until you get your stuff worked up to get uh, whatever. Or if there's a lens that you only use on very rare occasions for very specific circumstances, well, there you go. You don't have to necessarily upgrade the lens. You can just... Slap the old lens on there anyway. But yeah, these, these lavalier mics are very supposed to be very useful. I got this one and realized that it wouldn't work with the uh, the recorder that I had, which uh, wasn't a recorder. It was a phone. It it has this nifty little... It costs 50 bucks. I didn't know that it would only work if I plugged it into like a smartphone. I'm not doing that now. I have it connected directly to the camera, which is doable. But then you end up with like a tangled mess of wires which in some situations can get kind of annoying you're supposed to you know tape it on things and make it all easy to deal with I, I i didn't bother with that because you know that would have taken a little bit more effort but uh yeah or you could get the you know the digital recorder and it could plug into that if you wanted to spend the money on a proper digital recorder not a cell phone because they take well i don't know i've seen that there's apps supposedly that you can get that uh can record decent audio, I think. I would think that the phone would be capable of doing that. It's got quite a bit of processing power. 
you would think that it would be able to do that with the proper application. So, yeah, maybe if you pay money, you can get an application that will actually record well. But I, it, it didn't matter because it wouldn't plug into my Android smartphone. It had something designed for an iPhone. Or I can get these cables and plug it into the camera. But for the situation that I was in, that was not uh, a practical it was it was impossible. I needed the uh, the person being recorded to be far away from the camera, so there was no amount of wire that was. And plus, that would be ridiculous. Can you imagine being walking around out in the city with this big long string of wire dangling behind the person? I, I imagine it would be in the shot too. They'd be like, "What? What is that? Is the person they've like got a string or something going to them <laughs> as if they're going to get lost? Maybe it's so the cameraman, you know, doesn't get lost. He can just follow the line." and uh, know exactly where the person is at. But, um, yeah, I think it'll work for this situation. I think also, you know, like let's say I'm driving in the car, and I think um, yeah, I'm going to record, and I don't want to... Where's that other microphone? For some reason, well, I know exactly why. You know, the closer the microphone is to you, the source of the audio, the better it's going to sound. I've got this thing, which is great if you're just walking around doing vlog stuff, because then it's right there. It's kind of directional, you know. Um, that's just the, it, it, that's the actual microphone. Let's see if it's up by my face. It's probably in focus. There we go. Th this is just for wind deadening. This thing that I've got on my shirt here does have a little cover on it. Let me pull it out here. Yeah, there it is. This, uh, little lavalier mic. You know, I've seen some funny stuff with people recording. They'll be like, they'll have one of these and they're holding it up to their mouth. That's probably blowing it <laughs> Hey right, guys, the whole point of this is so that I'm sorry for the, the the noise here, but try and reattach it to my my hoodie, my my uniform for my videos. There we go. You don't have to hold it up to your mouth if you were uh, making YouTube videos and you happen to have one of these things. You don't have to hold it up to your mouth. The whole point of this is to just have it discreetly there, even though you'll probably have wires like tangled through your clothes and stuff going to whatever recording device you have. But, uh, yeah, the whole point is so you don't have to have this kind of a thing in your shot because that's, you know, distracting to have this giant microphone. Of course, sitting here, this is going to get uh, audio that is enormously better than what the lavalier mic is going to be able to do. But, you know, in situations, like I said, if I'm driving in the car and the camera's sitting on a tripod thing tied up and taped up so it doesn't move on the passenger side... And uh, I want to talk to it, and I don't want the muffled noise of the car and not hearing me. I haven't tested that yet. It, it'll probably pick up all kinds of noise. But um, the other thing you have to keep in mind is you have to adjust the, the audio. Yeah, I think that a lot of people run into that problem, too. When you put the new microphone into your camera, you always have to go into the, you know, the menus and kind of change the audio this thing is very sensitive so i've actually had to put the audio down to like seven or eight because otherwise you know it'll just blow everything out it'll be so distorted yeah you would not be a pleasant to the ear i don't know if it's pleasant to the ear even like this but we're gonna find out um well by now you probably already know if i've switched from the lavalier mic to this which i probably did either way because this is recording and it gets better audio but, yeah, okay, by now we know for sure. Or you know, you know, I don't know yet. But uh, you will know for sure if the lavalier mic is actually doing its job. And, uh, again, I said it was about uh, 50 bucks. I thought I had the uh, the little bag here. I'm trying not to rub the, uh, up against it to make a bunch of noise. See, that's another situation where the lavalier mic would come in handy. Let's say I need to turn away from this microphone that has to be right up in my face. And I, let's say, come over here, then you should still be able to hear me just as clearly as if I was sitting right here talking into this microphone. Hopefully it works. Um, that, that would be very useful, you know. In most situations, you, you can't sit here. Even if you had a boom mic or something sitting up here out of the shot, then, you know, as soon as you turn your head and start talking the other way, your voice is going to be like, you'll sound like you're in another room as far as the camera or the person watching the video is concerned. But, um, yeah, I always like to see how things are working as far as devices are concerned. And uh, I had, uh, yeah, this is, uh, I would have recorded earlier, but this was the, the only opportunity that presented itself. 
my son is yet again having a three-day weekend. It seems that, uh, to me anyway, if I'm this month, I don't think he's had a full week of school yet. On uh, one of the times he got sick and I had to go pick him up. And I think I made a video about that. And other than that, it's been like, oh, no school on this day, no school, uh, early dismissal, that sort of thing. So, yeah, it's been it's been like that. So I'm up in the middle of the night recording videos, drinking coffee, something you shouldn't do. But I figured that since it's the weekend anyway, we're recording this on a Friday night. I don't know what time it is or what day it is when you're watching, but uh, I am justifying the consumption of caffeine because I don't have to get up early in the morning. Though every time that I have ever decided to do this, my uh, I'm thinking like, oh, I'll be able to sleep in, no problem. I can do whatever. I can stay up late. Uh, my son will get up early on the weekend and destroy any possibility of getting enough sleep. So maybe this is a terrible mistake drinking this coffee at this hour but um, I'm gonna risk it because I wanted to to mess around with the microphones and, and and the lens to see how this looks because I'm usually you know pretty close in you know I've got a like 50 millimeter sort of uh, situation going on whether I'm using the 50 millimeter lens or I'm just using where is that thing this thing this giant ridiculous uh, Tamron thing, zoom in to like, oh, I'm doing it all wrong, 50 millimeter, you know what I mean, that uh, that way. This is wide. I've actually got the camera sitting almost right up in my face, <laughs> which is different. But hey, it, it's easier to look at the camera this way, believe it or not. And uh, even though the camera is right in my face, you can see so much more. Not that there's much to see in this attic bedroom that I have kind of commandeered as my recording studio place if you saw the other side of the room it's full of toys my son comes up here to play with stuff sometimes but uh, yeah anyway that that's about it hopefully this uh, this thing works if it is what is it called a sar uh, ooh, i'm going to look that up now ah, yes saramonic lav lav micro is the one it comes with a nifty little bag to keep it in which is where the microphone has been for the last well, um, pretty much the entire time that I've had it. It's got a pretty good length of uh, wire attached to it. You just get, you know, like a headphone cable jack thing, 3.5 millimeter. And then you can plug it in. It'll plug into this thing here, and it'll plug into the camera or whatever it is you need it to plug into. It comes with the, uh, I think it actually came with something to be able to plug into USB-C which is an option if you can get your phone to recognize it, or it has the iPhone plug and it works perfectly well on an iPhone if that's what you want to do. 50, 50 bucks, I think it was about, well, okay, it wasn't quite 50 bucks. I'm sure with tax it was 50 bucks, but it was like 49. Feels pretty solid. I, uh, I wasn't really looking for the best when I got it. I just needed one, or so I thought, and picked it up, but um, yeah. It's an option if it worked. If it didn't work, then don't buy it because it's garbage. But um, if it did, then, you know, it could be a solution to a problem you may have. It's not going to sound like this, but, you know, anyway, what am I doing? I'm talking and talking. Hey, I'll, I'll see you guys later. Oh.